Hello guys, uh, welcome to mathematics class with Flash Isaac. Uh, recently, I released a video on introduction to log reading. I explained everything log reading is about and how to attempt log reading questions. Uh, a few minutes ago, I released a video covering uh, all the laws of log reading and I gave example under each of the laws. So I'll release a link to the two videos below check them out, then come back to these questions. So if you understand log reading and you've gone through my log reading laws videos, then you should be able to combine all these laws to solve these questions. So now, let's look at these questions. So log reading questions requires wisdom. You look at what do I do to simplify this? What do I do to evaluate this? Now, the first thing I notice in this question is that the basis are the same. So that means we have to look for something to make here simpler. Or we have to touch it. Or there is something we can do. And another thing I see here is that it is addition. So is multiplication possible? So how do we simplify this? I can say 2 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 8. And 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 4. So with that wisdom, I can quickly jump and say, this is log 2 raised to the power of 3 to base 2 plus log 2 raised to the power of 2 to base 2. And it's correct. I have not changed anything. Uh, look at this law. From the top row 3 power rule, it states that once you have something like this, B 2, M 2, K is 3. So when a log has power, you can simply bring the power down. So that is the power rule. So we bring this power here, we bring this power here. So this will give you 3 log 2 with base 2 plus bring this power down, 2 log 2 with base 2. So we continue. Now from this question, looking at this question, I'm seeing a particular law, which is... Uh, Identity law or identity rule of log reading. It states that a log of a number to its own base is 1. Now, this is log 2 base 2. The number and the base are the same. This and this are the same. So it is 1. So this implies that this is 3 times 1 or 3 bracket 1 plus log 2, 2 is 1. That means 2, 1. This is simply 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 times 1 is 2. So this will give you 5. So that is your answer. Makes sense, right? Looking at this question, something comes to my mind. The bases are the same and it's subtraction. Now, how does this relate to uh, the quotient rule? Look at this subtraction. So when the bases are the same and even if the uh, numbers are different, you can put it in this form, change it to division. So I can change this to division using the second law or wisdom of the second law to say that this is log 3, 1, 6, 2 over 2. Now compare it to this if it doesn't make sense. Or uh, this, m over n. So look at it. If you have log to a base, it's 1, 6, 2 over 2. We had 1, 6, 2 is equal to that m. 2 is equals n. So you can take it to this form. So this and this are the same. So we can further go ahead to simplify log 3 81. Because 162 uh, divided by 2 is equals 81. So I can further break this down into uh, log 3 3 raised to the power of 4 because 3 raised to the power of 4 is 81 which is 4 times 4 times 4 this 4 raised to the power of 3 3 times raised to the power of 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 so this is 3 raised to the power of 4 it equals 81 and again from the power rule we can bring out this 4 and leave this so this will leave us with 4 log 3 to base 3. And check out identity rule, which is rule 5. 
So this shows that log 3 to base 3 is equals 1. So our answer here will be 4. It's making sense to you, right? This is addition. This is subtraction. So um, if I'm solving this, I look at this law. Can I change this to this? Yes. Subtraction. After changing this to this, can I now subtract? So what makes sense to me now, the only thing in my mind is, since the bases are the same, I can break this down into two. Solve this addition and see how to work on the other part. So if I'm solving for this addition, the bases are the same. I can say log 6 times 45. So that is the same law here. M times N. So this times this will give you this. So I'm not actually doing anything on my own. I'm following the rules. So minus log 10, 27. Uh, look at this also. This is minus. If you look at this uh, quotient rule, once we have minus separating logarithm with the same base, we can change it to division like this. So this will be log 10. This 6 times 45 over this 27. So I've still not done anything new. I'm still following the law. So if you multiply this, 6 times 45 over 27, 170 over 27 is 10. So this will give you 10, 10. So log 10 to base 10. And according to the identity rule, rule 5, any log to a base, once the log and the base are the same, or the number and the base are the same, you get 1. So your answer there is 1. So that is it. If you are giving log 2, let's say log 2, it means log 2 to base 10. So if the base is not specified, assume 10. So this is the same thing as log 2 raised to the power of y. This is base 10. is equals 1.8062. So this also means log 2 with base 10 is equals 0 0.3010. So this is the same. And most time when you see this kind of question, they will tell you evaluate without the use of tables or without the use of calculator without the use of that so now that i have this now compare this to this power rule where b is 10 m is 2 y is k so from that rule it shows that we can bring this y down that's rule 3 so this is the same thing as y log 10 to is equals 1.8062 so from here i can say y is equals 1.8062 over log 10 so log 2 to base 10 and you know the surprising thing or the good news log 2 they already give us log 2 so log 2 is the same thing as log 2 to base 10 which is this log 2 so the same thing as log 2 to base 10 so we already have this so this is simply 1.8062 over log 2 with base 10 is 0 0.3010 and uh, from my solving this gave me what 6 so the answer to that question is 6 so i think it's pretty nice and easy so let's take a look at the last question so number five question number five question requires wisdom so we are given that log theory is this log 2 is this. We should find log uh, root 6. Like I told you, log 3 means log 3 to base with base 10, log 2 to base 10, log root 6 to base 10. So that's what is implied when you are not giving base. So, uh, log root 6. Um, I can, this is the same thing as log 10 root 6. And this should be, is the same thing as log 6 raised to the power of 1 over 2. This uh, from power rule. That is the same thing as 1 over 2 log 6 with base 10. And from uh, product rule, I can make this 1 over 2 log 10 2 times 3. 
So because 2 times 3 is the same thing as 6. Because I'm trying to break it down to be able to get log 3 and log 2 and substitute. Because we are asked not to use the table. So we have to break it down to get this log 3, log 2. In order to be able to substitute. And from uh, product rule also, once we have something like this, we can put it in addition. So this means, this is the same thing as 1 over 2. Log 2 would be 10. Plus log 3 would be 10. So this is 1 over 2. Log 2 would be 10. This is uh, log 2. Where they already gave us as 0 0.3010 plus log 3 base 10 is 0 0.4771. So I'll take a look at that. Now, add this and multiply by that and tell me your answer. I'm waiting. So did you get this? If yes, congratulations. That's your answer. So thank you for watching my log reading video. And please subscribe to this channel to get updates on my other videos.